Right, I'm back now. I've squeezed out some paints and I thought it'd be helpful for everybody to think about mixing greens. This will apply, I think, to all paints and pastels, but not so much. Um, and I just want to go through the different kinds of greens that you probably have in your paint selection. So this is a rather nice green, sap green, which works really well. Uh, under most circumstances, you can vary that a lot. Um, but you're often given these very bright, lurid greens, which I find are a bit too strong for real actual greens. And then one colour you're often given is this one, which is Viridian, which you can see that is very blue, but that is a very, very good mixing green. So here it's all about the sunshine. So I want to mix up a really nice green. Um, and one of the rules of thumb with greens, if you mix them with the earth colours, so here we have burnt umber, yellow ochre, and I've got cadmium yellow and lemon yellow. And I'm going to mix up a variation of greens and I'm going to start painting the far, far background. So I've got um, yellow ochre here, which I'm, oh gosh, I'm going to mix with this sap green. And you can see that it turns into a very nice grassy green at that stage. And as it's over here, I might as well mix it with that one and see what happens. And again, a very nice grassy green. And I can turn it a bit greener. And then I want to show you the miracle of Viridian. This very bluey green. That makes a very, very nice dark green with brown. So if I've got my Viridian here, I've got my burnt umber. And I'm just going to mix that up. And it should go a nice dark green. That's very good for you trees. But if you want to lighten that a bit... I'm going to um, mix it again with yellow ochre, which works very well. Uh, so here we are, yellow ochre and a bit of this dark green. And again, you can see you've got a very nice light green there. Um, another one that's quite useful, if you take some cadmium yellow and mix them into greens, you really get this sunshine through leaves colour, which is lovely, which I'm probably going to use quite a lot of. Although it's not very thick at the moment. What happens if I add white? So white will make it just that little bit more opaque, which is helpful. And an old trick that most artists up until oh, 1850, uh, they would have to use black. I don't know if this black is going to work. And actually yellow, lemon yellow with it. And you should get something resembling a green. Uh, black would have a lot of blue in it, so mixing it with yellow would bring it up. But this is often why I think those paintings of the 18th century are a bit dull, because they just didn't have the colours. So that's a lovely colour. And I'm going to start putting some on. So I've changed positions so I can actually see my painting, which is quite useful to do when you're painting a painting. So I'm just putting this on, see what it looks like. That is a bit dark, so I'm going to add a bit of white to that and see what happens. That's a bit on the sludgy slide. So I'm going to add a bit of this nice sap green to it and see what happens. That's better. But it is a bit sludgy still. And I just want to block in these nice dark greens first. As I happen to have them on my brush. I did find uh, this sap green that I've got. It actually came out of the Crawford um, pack uh, that you could buy for eight quid, which obviously you can't do anymore out of the works, but I think it's available online of 12 colours, which work quite well. I'll put a picture up of the colours there on the internet. Uh, <clears throat> and now I want to really get that zing of that wonderful spring sunshine through leaves. So I'm mixing up yellow into my lurid green, having been so dismissive of it before. Whoops. And I'm going to go in and put these nice colours in here. So I'm still thinking this is an underpainting. So I'm going to block it in like that. And there's a lot of yellow up there, so I'm going to grab some of that lemon yellow. If it's clean. Yellows are very prone to getting mucky, so you have to be very clean with them. So I'm actually going to use pure lemon yellow up here and block some in. So in, in the fullness of time, I will be adding more detail to this, but I just want to uh, a, a paint very quickly because otherwise you'll be bored to death and B get this uh, the background blocked in. And then once you've got that, you can actually start bringing it forward and blocking in some other bits. <laughs> 